you know, the day this happened, uh, this became holy ground for many, many of us. He was 29 years old with two years on the police force when Stephen McDonald and his partner stopped three boys reported to be loitering near the boathouse in Central Park. Speaking with one of the boys, 15-year-old Shavad Jones pulled out a handgun and shot him three times, leaving him a quadriplegic and in need of a ventilator for the rest of his life. His family and extended family of the NYPD today gathering near the spot where he was shot to celebrate a mass in his honor. But it's the rest of his life that was most inspirational. For us who knew Stephen and who loved him, and as I said before, who, was lo who were loved by him, uh, he accomplished a great deal in those 30 years of his life. For one, he eventually forgave his attacker. In the foreword of the book, Why Forgive, written by Johann Christoph Arnold, McDonald said he didn't want to get into all of the details of why, but wrote, I needed healing badly and found out that the only way forward was with love. And in a statement read by his wife following his son Connor's baptism, he wrote, I'm sometimes angry at the teenage boy who shot me, but more often I feel sorry for him. I only hope he can turn his life into helping not hurting people. I forgive him and hope that he can find peace and purpose in his life. But that was not to be. Days after his release from prison in 1995, Shavad Jones died of injuries sustained as a passenger during a motorcycle accident. For McDonald, one thing that would not die was his love of the men and women of the NYPD. He became an ambassador for the department, speaking to classrooms, meeting with the Pope, and campaigning for gun control. But most of all, inspiring young cops, like a young platoon commander in the 7-9 who is now chief of department. And any cop that was in that roll call that day felt better about being a New York City police officer. Stephen's life was a life of purpose. It was a life filled with love, compassion, and hope. In a tweet this morning, Police Commissioner Dermot Shea, remembering the officer shot 35 years ago, who continued to spread a message of forgiveness, compassion, and love, saying, Stephen and his message will always live on in the hearts of our NYPD family.